Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of South Asia Chat, brought to you by the Institute of South Asian Studies in Singapore. This week, we have with us Professor Tokir Hussein, Visiting Senior Research Fellow at ISAS. Welcome, Prof. Thank you. So it was a big week for Pakistan last week, as Prime Minister Imran Khan made a momentous visit to the US. What do you think, Prof, are the key outcomes of Imran Khan's visit to the US? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, the outcomes are generally positive from Pakistani perspective and from American perspective as well. Uh, there were four, broadly four areas of interest from the Pakistani side. The historical relationship between Pakistan and the United States, which has seen its ups and downs and conflict of perceptions, policy and interests. But Pakistan has also been a very useful ally. Uh, so Pakistan was hoping that the old relationship would be rekindled. Uh, then second issue was Afghanistan. Pakistan has given a critical support to United States in establishing dialogue between United States and Taliban, and Pakistan has expressed its willingness to do more. And third was, of course, uh, the impact that it, would, it had on Pakistan's image in Washington. And fourth, its impact on pa Imran Khan's own political standing in Pakistan. So I think in all four areas, especially in Afghanistan and the image and the Imran Khan's political uh, standing, uh, it was a success. The broader area of U.S.-Pakistan relationship is too complex. It has so many issues in which there's a lot of divergence uh, and also convergence. But right now, uh, that is in the background. Uh, more priority is on Afghanistan for both sides. So the United States also, I think, was satisfied that Pakistan gave a genuine commitment to do more in persuading Taliban to start talking with Kabul and also agree to ceasefire. Imran Khan said when he goes back, he's going to have a talk to the Taliban. So on the whole, a visit was positive, from, especially from Pakistani side. Uh, from the American too, uh, I think generally it went very well. Yes, I think so. But what do you think is the impact of this visit on the long-term relationship between the U.S. and Pakistan, which has had its you know, difficulties in recent times? Uh, U.S.-Pakistan relationship is not the same as it used to be. Yes. Uh, South Asia has changed. Geopolitics has changed. Uh, the issues that are creating uh, problems for the United States, like terrorism, uh, are threats to U.S. and global security from extremist organizations, especially uh, from al-Qaeda and ISIS, and also uh, the threats that some of these militant organizations in Pakistan pose to India, for example. Uh, and of course, Taliban also, in, in, in a sense, are seen as part of the same, uh, although it's, a, it's a, uh, seen as a nationalist organization too, but at the same time, it has an extremist ideology. So, so many issues which, uh, very, which are not easy to handle, uh, there, you know, Pakistan and the United States are going to face in the future. For now, attention is going to remain on uh, Afghanistan, and its Afghanistan problem is not going to go away just after American pullout. Mm -hmm. So Pakistan's role in stabilizing Afghanistan will remain. Uh, in the case the conflict continues with another name, Pakistan has to play a role in uh, making sure that uh, uh, Afghanistan doesn't collapse or Pakistan doesn't face its spillover. Uh, so Pakistan's main interest, as well as America, is that Afghanistan gets peaceful and uh, stable. Uh, these are all big challenges, and they are not going to be resolved anytime soon. Pakistan is committed to take action against militant organizations also, but that's not going to be easy. That's not going to be resolved anytime soon. So you will have issues which will keep the dialogue open between the United States and Pakistan in the long term. But uh, the resolution is not going to be easy or quick. Certainly. And I think one cannot deny that when we talk about Pakistan's relations with the U.S., <clears throat> we also have to bring into question its relations with two other powers, China and India. So what are, what are the outcomes of this visit and would it have any impact on Pakistan's other relations vis-a-vis -vis China and India? It's a good question. Uh, China is interested in 
improvement of uh, U.S.-Pakistan relations uh, because China is, uh, realizes the uh, punitive potential of American power in the region, and Pakistan has already faced a lot of pressure from the United States, especially on uh, uh, its policies regarding uh, uh, sort of militant organizations. Pakistan is doing its very best. So China hopes that American uh, uh, influence, American inducement, and American uh, support will uh, play a role, positive role, in uh, taking Pakistan uh, towards a more sort of uh, policies which are more in, in alignment with its own stability and the stability of the uh, region. So in that sense, I think U.S.-Pakistan relationship is not a threat to uh, China. Uh, as far as uh, India is concerned, uh, I think uh, India has been pursuing a policy of isolating Pakistan and not talking to Pakistan, uh, partly because it feels that Pakistan needs to take a stronger action against uh, militant organizations, and also partly because the United States has, uh, has also been putting pressure on Pakistan, and India finds that uh, co coordinated pressure on Pakistan from its side will uh, please Uni India, United States and bring India and United States even uh, closer. Uh, if the United States stack towards Pakistan is changing, surely India's stack would change too. Sure. Uh, so I think India might feel uh, that uh, it's time perhaps to uh, start a dialogue uh, with Pakistan. So on the whole, I think, re leaving aside controversy about Trump's remarks on Kashmir, which is not really related too much to U.S.-Pakistan yes. relations, uh, on the whole, I think visit would have a positive impact on India. Certainly, and I think this is a very important visit and much will be seen in the coming months, uh, the impact of this visit in the near term. Thank you, Prof. Hussein, for joining us today and for sharing your thoughts. Thank you for asking me. Dear listeners, we hope you enjoyed this session on Imran Khan's visit to the US. Do join us again soon for our next episode. Take care and have a great weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you.